actually I love stereotypes about Russians, but in real life everything is like, uh, not so tough. I must break you. But one stereotype it's true, it's about the Russian cuisine. That it tastes like magic from the fairy tales. <laughs> Today I will show you how to cook my favorite Russian soup, salyanka. I don't know if you know this, but I don't speak Russian! Actually, I prefer to say not Russian culture or cuisine, I prefer to say Slavic. Because for me, Ukrainian, Belarus and Russian cultures, it's like different branches from the one really big and interesting Slavic culture. So, we need beef, Olives or black olives, which one you like. Lemon, smoked sausages, herbs, onions. Slavic cuisine is impossible without the onions. And I don't know why, but people still underrated that amazing ingredient. Tomato paste and pickles. The first thing what we need is to start cooking the broth. For this, we need to have boil the beef for one hour. You don't need to salt it right now. Just don't forget to simmer the foam time to time. So for now we have a full hour to prepare the rest. Finally chop the onions and herbs and send it to the pan. You need to cut the sausages. Well, okay. Maybe a few other stereotypes about Russian Satru. Slightly fry the sausages in the pan along with the herbs. Pour over everything with tomato paste. Russians are the scariest white people! Do you know why I don't like to give exact weight and the sizes of everything? Because I prefer to look and do everything by eye and try every time. So because of that I can change the recipe and create another recipe and learn because of my own mistakes. For example, now I was so carried away that in the end I realized that I need a saucepan much, much bigger. You are stupid. But now I have a soup for two days. You have to take out the beef and cut it in small pieces. Do not pour out the broth. Salanka! Broth, tomato paste, sausages, beef, heat everything a little bit, mix everything, put some salt and spices wherever you want. Best served salanka with lemon and sour cream. So I cook salanka only for 98% and that is my limit. For 99% it could be done by my mom and for 100% only by my grandpa. So kiss your mom, kiss your grandfather. И приятного аппетита! До свидания!